eine weitere Ausgabe unserer Sommergespräche erwartet euch, liebe Eisbärenfans, und dazu herzlich willkommen und schönen guten Tag. Wir haben heute als Interviewgast unsere tschechische Rakete, den Stürmer mit der Nummer 33, Peter Pohl. Peter, guten Tag. <lacht> guten Tag. Wie geht's dir? Uh, gut. Uh And you? <lacht> Mir geht's auch gut, Peter. <lacht> ähm, was äh, denkst du, du hast jetzt äh, äh, zweieinhalb Wochen ungefähr äh, Training absolviert. How are you doing? You had like uh, almost two and a half weeks of practice now. Um, how are you feeling? I mean, uh, it's going. Uh, trying to get into it. Uh, so we're ready for the season. Obviously, it's not uh, easy, but at the same time, you know, if If you work hard and stuff, it's not uh, too hard either, so uh, yeah, we should be all right. Is there any difference uh, to pre-season in Czech Republic? You uh, uh, did uh, most of your career's time in the Czech Republic. Uh, what's the difference between uh, the pre-season here and in Czech Republic? Uh, it's, uh, it's actually funny you say that. Um, uh, I would say uh, with Uwe now, uh, it's actually uh, Pretty similar, you know. Uh, in Czech, it's kind of normal that you practice twice a day and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, it's more similar to this, uh, what we're doing this year. What uh, is uh, like? What would you think is special uh, in in that uh, preseason? You're playing a lot of games. You're skating a lot. What what would you point out as the the focus here or in Czech? Right now, uh, here in Berlin. Uh, yes, we uh, we are practicing uh, every morning and then uh, in the afternoon, almost every day we uh, play like a scrimmage. So uh, uh, I mean, it's a lot of uh, skating and it's a lot of um, I don't know like uh, physical stuff. But uh, in the same time, that's kind of a good thing to prepare you for a season. Uh, no one really knows exactly what to do, so we all kind of have to figure it out. So you know, we're in the best shape we could be. Uh, for the start of the season. The next step in the uh, preseason is going to be the tournament on the weekend. There's going to be two games, uh, one against Dresden and one maybe Wolfsburg, maybe Litvinov. Litvinov is the Czech champion. Uh, you know them pretty good. Uh, what do you expect uh, if from that tournament? Uh, yeah, uh, to well, tournament is, you know, I guess a uh, part of the preparation again. So. Uh, You know, it's not uh, it's not easy, but uh, yeah, uh, Litvinov uh, is definitely you know something that I l know a little bit. Uh, I would compare them maybe to Zlín from last season when we played them in the Championships League. So um, I would uh, expect something similar whether we see them or not. Okay, so Litvinov is a pretty defensive team, as you said, like Zlín was, uh, but they probably have some skilled players too. Who are the players to watch? Exactly, they have. Uh, Good defense, good goalie, and uh, a lot of good skilled forwards. But they did lose, uh, I think, a whole line. Uh, obviously, after winning a championship, to you know KHL or uh, other teams. So I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna be, but uh, they still definitely have uh, really, really good uh, forwards. There's like two or three guys that uh, always uh, lead uh, the team and stuff like that. Um, uh, one step further is going to be the Champions Hockey League. I know uh, that you're probably a little bit sad that we're not playing a Czech team again, but on the other hand, we have the chance to uh, advance to the next round. Uh, I, I guess that's definitely one of the goals. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess so. Uh, I mean, of course, uh, one one step at a time. You know, like you said, this week is the uh, tournament, and then you know we're looking forward to that uh, championships game. But it's still almost two weeks away, so uh, uh, we'll see what happens by then. But um, of course, uh, I don't, I don't really care if there's no Czech team. It was just uh, something a little nice, but it's not a problem or anything. But uh, yeah, I think they changed rules and stuff like that. So of course, it's gonna be more pressure of making it to the next round and stuff like that. So uh, um, yeah, I'm sure uh, we'll we'll prepare for that. One last question. It's uh, your second year in Berlin now. You know your way. Um, can you uh, tell us one of your favorite spots in Berlin so far? One of my favorite spots? Uh, I don't know. I uh, I recently moved, so I 
I enjoy being at uh, Post Summer Plus right now. Um, you know, uh, getting getting used to uh, my way around there, especially, and a lot of things are around there that I had no idea. Uh, you know, that that are there. So. Danke, Peter. Danke, Shen. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und tschüss.